Welcome to Board Prep Cardiology Batch 1. Today I will share 20 questions with you. I recommend that you pause the video after each question and provide the answer. In so doing, you're evaluating how much you really know. Let's begin. Identify three facts about stable angina. It is caused by fixed atherosclerotic lesions in the coronary arteries. It, is it occurs when oxygen demand exceeds oxygen supply and the pain is relieved with rest or nitroglycerin. What is meant by a positive family history? It is myocardial infarction in a first degree relative such as mother, father, brother, or sister. Also, it is when men younger than 45 years experience a heart attack. And finally, women younger than 55 years with a heart attack. What defines a positive stress test? The test is positive if the patient develops ischemia with ST segment depression, heart failure, or hypotension. What is the next step in a chest pain patient with normal ECG and negative troponin? Stress test. What is the most accurate test to identify the presence and severity of coronary artery disease? Coronary angiography. List the medications that are used to induce pharmacologic stress tests in patients who cannot tolerate exercise stress tests. Adenosine, dipyridomol, and dibutamine. Which medication decreases mortality, reduces the risk of MI, and inhibits platelet activation? Aspirin. Which medication causes generalized vasodilation, decreases oxygen demand, decreases preload, and should not be given to patients with inferior wall MI. Nitroglycerin. Define unstable angina. It is new onset chest pain, resting chest pain, and pain with increase in frequency, longer duration, or more intense. Name the definitive test to identify Prince Metal Angina. Coronary Angiogram. What is the hallmark of Prince Metal Angina? The hallmark of Prince Metal Angina is transient ST segment elevation during chest pain, which represents transmural ischemia. Identify the patients that may have painless MI or a typical presentation of cardiac pain. They are post-operative patients, the elderly, diabetic patients, and women. What will the lung examination be in a patient with right ventricular infarction? the lungs will be clear. How is transmural myocardial injury represented on the ECG? ST elevation. How is subendocardial injury represented on the ECG? ST depression. The presence of Q wave is evidence of myocardial necrosis. Describe pathologic Q-wave. 
it is one third the height of the R wave. How soon would troponin rise to indicate true myocardial injury? Three to five hours after injury. How soon would troponin peak to indicate true myocardial injury? 24 to 48 hours. How long would troponin remain positive to indicate true myocardial injury? Up to 14 days. Which lab value is helpful in identifying reinfarction within three days of the original infarction? CKMB. It returns to normal faster, so re elevation is suggestive of reinfarction. Well, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.